I had one uh, follow-up question regarding uh, how you converted that API interactor call to uh, non, I mean, that was a non-synchronous call. You converted that. So I'm still wondering about it. So DB is, I understood we can wrap that or we can remove the asynchronous behavior of DBs like with the decorator pattern that you showed. But there was an API call. Uh, so I'm still wondering how that API call uh, went from asynchronous to synchronous. So yes, at line 157. So this was an API call. So I'm still wondering how, how can we, since this function is now synchronous, but the API call is asynchronous. What I recommend you do is that when you send a message, this API interactor, whatever it is, like let's say, let's call it just API, mm -hmm. to not confuse it. Let's say you have an API class. What this should do is like internally, you will add this transaction to a queue somewhere and we'll keep retrying until it succeeds. Here, it should only fail if it fails to add to this pending queue, right? Because it's a better user experience when you just send a message, it's saved in the repository already. Then you just add it to a queue somewhere mm -hmm. that will keep retrying automatically until that is synced with the backend. Thus, this, it will only fail if it fails to add it to this queue. And this queue should be responding synchronously. Now, behind the scenes, there will be a background process actually making a synchronous request to the backend. But the use case doesn't need to be concerned about that background process. You know, It just actually needs to perform the business logic and say, boom, now sync with the backend. That's not my problem anymore. <laughs> OK. Make sense? Yes. But if you want to add callbacks here, you can add callbacks. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. I just think it complicates everything. You know, asynchrony adds one extra layer of complexity into the business logic. Mm. If you can avoid, that's going to help you create simpler solutions. And remember that all of this is running inside a transaction. So if anything fails in there, it will mm. be rolled back. If any of these things here throws, mm. it will throw in this function, which will be captured by the decorator. And we will roll back everything in the context. Does your safe. That's the mm. beauty of it. And the asynchrony lives in the infrastructure. Or you can make it synchronous by perform and wait. Like this. It can be synchronous like this. But that's an infrastructure detail. You solve these infrastructure details in the infrastructure layer instead of leaking these details to your business logic.